know Darren will be very pleased that your attitude toward him has changed. Well, here he is now. Mr. Baldwin! I can't tell you how marvelous it is to have the pleasure of your company again, sir. Thanks. It's so very, very, very nice of you to come back again. Yes, sir, sir. Certainly pleased, all right, isn't he? <laughs> well, Stevens, I felt that uh, I was a little hasty and abrupt in my judgment of you and your ideas this morning. Oh, not at all, sir, not at all. It was entirely my fault. You were right, sir. I should have paid more attention to your ideas. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir, a little lint on your suit, sir? Oh, that's a beautiful suit, sir. May I compliment you on your taste? Guess so. <clears throat> well, as I was uh, about to say, what was I going to say? Did you like Stephen's ideas for Baldwin blankets? Yes. Yes! I particularly like the slogan that goes, for full protection, Baldwin blankets keep you covered. Are you absolutely certain you like it, Mr. Baldwin? I'll do anything to make it better. I'm sure that I can improve it. No, I like it just the way it is. Are you positive, sir? After all, here at McMahon and Tate, we... Yes, Darren. He's positive. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Baldwin. Won't you have a cigar, sir? They're the very finest. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, no, thanks. Don't smoke cigars. That's very wise of you, sir. <laughs> can I do anything else for you? No, I'd just like to get on with it. Good idea, Horace. You're tired, Mr. Bowden. Why don't you sit down here, sir? This chair is very comfortable. I don't want to sit down. I just want to get this meeting over with and go to lunch. You're hungry. I'll run right downstairs and get you a sandwich. <laughs> Darren. Oh, what would you like, sir? Ham? Corned beef? How about a club? Club, don't tempt me. <laughs> well, I'd be only too happy to get it for you, sir. Uh, Horace, since you seem to be in agreement with the way we're going to handle this campaign, why don't we get together at some other time? So you won't be late for your luncheon appointment. Larry, a great suggestion. The account's yours. Oh, thank you, Horace. Go ahead without me. <laughs> Mr. Baldwin, I'll be looking forward to our next meeting. At your convenience, of course, sir. I like your work, Stevens. But I don't think we'll need any more meetings. <laughs> We got the account back again, but you almost lost it. I was only trying to be likable. I liked you better when you were unlikable. <laughs> What'd she do now? She took the spell off, that's what she did. Now, since when is that something to complain about? When she takes the spell off, and I don't know the spell is off, and I proceed to make a fool out of myself in front of Larry and Mr. Baldwin, that's when it's something to complain about. <laughs> Darren, I tried to call you, but your secretary said you were busy and couldn't be disturbed. I was busy, getting myself nominated as the boob of the year. <laughs> but only after I'd won the vote as the most disliked boob of the year. <laughs> since I don't have to worry about my popularity. Well, I should hope not. Huh? Well, not with everything else you have to worry about. What everything else? Well, like your charm, your good looks, your wonderful personality, your funny crooked smile, your great sense of humor, your warmth and sincerity. Gee, I didn't know my smile was crooked. Darren. What? I'm telling you, I love you. And I love you. <laughs> Crooked how? <Owl. laughs> 